Hi, welcome to Learn with Red. I'm Professor Red Valencia. In today's episode, we're going to learn a new skill or competency, how to make a slides presentation using Google Slides. This is a very important skill or competency for students in our distance learning to know how to make a short presentation given a topic and an open educational resource video on the topic. It's also important to teachers how to make a slides presentation for their Google Classroom. What is new in this episode is that we are going to learn how to convert that slide presentation into an MP4 video using a laptop, a PC, or a mobile phone. This is a very important skill, particularly for an asynchronous presentation, which is different from live presentation using Zoom or Google Meet. In asynchronous presentation, you just upload it in Google Classroom. Learn with Red. Let's go. First, we start by playing the OER video, which is what is an LMS. And then we're going to use the screen capture. For example, here, I stop the video, print screen. Then we use Paint. This is a free app in our Windows. Paste our picture, then we snip it, crop, and save it there. Enter. Okay, then uh, continue watching, print screen, and then some more, print screen. Okay, so we're done getting some materials. So here, I made a storyboard timeline of my slides presentation. I start with the question, what is an LMS? What can I do with an LMS? And then uh, I chose the photos that I'm going to use in the script there okay I chose this I edited I added some some graphics of course and so okay so now let's implement the storyboard timeline and make our slides presentation here I open Google slides in this computer so here's the Google slide I start a new presentation there, so I start with my first slide by first deleting this and insert a photo image from my computer. This first picture, okay, there. Then I insert a new slide. So let's insert the second slide there. There, I found it faster if I just copy the slide, insert a new image, okay, it's a new slide, here, following my storyboard, I just change the content. Slide number seven, followed by the slide number, the closing slide, which is the thank you slide. Okay, what we can do is to name this slide, what is LMS? Yeah, it's automatically saved in my Google Drive, but what I want to do is to download this as a Microsoft PowerPoint in my computer. To make an MP4 video of the PowerPoint presentation with an audio generation, download a free download application called OBS Studio. You can find it in Google. Click Download OBS Studio. To go to the website of OBS, open Broadcaster Software. Click Download Installer. It's free. Then click it to install. You'll be prompted. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click yes. 
So now we are in our OBS Studio workspace. So this top panel here is the video that we are going to produce. The bottom panel includes the scene, sources of audio and video, audio mixers, scene transitions, and controls for recording. So the first thing we will do is to add the to add a video capture device. And just click yes. Ah, there's me. Hi, I'm here. Just click OK. And what I like is to put it on the lower right. It depends on you where you like it. Okay, now that I have a video capture device, I'll add a window capture there. This is what I want to record, which is the PowerPoint. But you see, I have many Windows applications open in my desktop. For example, I have the Word. Okay, this is what I will read to provide a voice narration. And there, there's the Explorer. But what I want to make a video of is this PowerPoint. So just click OK. Oops, it's covered. <laughs> so what I do is to put the video capture on top. There, I'm on top now going back so in order to just capture here i'll click the alt key in the keyboard there you can hear it and then the alt and the handles there okay so now i can center it in my background there so now i'm ready to rehearse it's important to rehearse first before the actual recording so that there will be no mistakes and i would also know when to click the slides Okay, so let's just start. I read my script. Three, two, one. What is an LMS? LMS stands for Learning Management System. It is a web-based or online system that helps you organize school learning. What can I do with an LMS? With an LMS, I can gather all my learning materials in one place and make them available to all the learners in just one click. I can organize the students into groups like Google Classroom 1 and Google Classroom 2. And I can assign a whole series of learning materials and tests according to the student's needs assessment, which I call the training path. And easily track each learner's progress to encourage the leaders and to help the slow learners develop faster. So what are the student benefits from LMS? First is they can study at home for classwork and assignments, meaning that they don't have to wear a uniform. Next, there's no need for daily transportation expenses for tricycles, for example, or jeepney. And they can join the class. They can access learning through mobile phone, for example, if they don't have a laptop or a tablet for only 50 pesos for three days load or 90 pesos with two gigabytes for seven days. Imagine, you can finish the whole semester for all the subjects for a cost only of less than 1500 And there's no need for printing learning material. So you just go to where there's a strong signal and download the learning material and upload your assignment or learning assessment tests. What other benefits do learners find with LMS? With the right LMS, learners can save time to pursue test that competency training, for instance, and become an online working student while studying in college. Yes. And thank you for, for listening. Cut. What we will do is start recording. I go to slides number one and get my script ready. Start recording. What is an LMS? LMS stands for Learning Management System. It is a web-based online system that helps you organize school learning. What can I do with an LMS? With an LMS, you can gather all your learning materials into one place and make them available to all the learners in just one click. You can organize the students into groups like Google Classroom 1 and Google Classroom 2. You can assign a whole series of learning materials and tests according to their needs assessment called the learning path and easily track each learner's progress to encourage the leaders and help slow learners develop faster. Once again, thank you for watching another episode of Learn With Red. And today you learned how to make a video using PowerPoint and OBS Studio. I'll be making separate videos on OBS Studio and PowerPoint. Press like and subscribe so you can get notified when we upload new videos.
Learn with Red.